But yeah, this truss has rotted out as well here. You can see this wall plate here has collapsed. This beam that we're on here, that's what's left of it. This should be here. This post is rotten as well onto a rotten beam. How this building is still standing. And this is the corbel straight on. We've got original Watland door panels. What a project we've got this week. Started this back in March, February, March this year. And we had the scaffolding erected, won the scope of work, doing structural work. But then as soon as we got scaffolding up, we did a site investigation with the client team and the building was a lot worse once we started opening up. I think we spent a week here opening up and when we dug into it, it was a lot worse than what was first expected. Given that then, we had to go back to the council to get listed building consent for the additional works, which has just absolutely taken the mark of weeks and weeks. We had the conservation officer around fairly early we agreed the scope of work on, on site with them, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do it. But then, I think that was maybe June time, don't quote me on the dates, but then since then, it's took that long to get all the permits uh, signed off, uh, listing of building consent, all the conditions and everything. Just been wow, and we're now December before we're actually on site. So this is gonna run all the way through till next, uh, May, I think, so, uh, April, May. I don't, I don't know, don't quote me on that, don't quote me on that, but there's quite, quite a bit of work here. I'm thinking we'll start at the top, work down. We've got original Watland door panels in and some brick one replacements as well. But you can see the condition of the frame, which is not good. Here's some more original Watland door. When we take them Watland door panels out, we're gonna save all the clay and earth material in them, put it all in a big tub. And when we come to put these back in, we're gonna use the original Watland door clay to do the replacement with. Might just add a little bit of lime with it because it's probably lost a bit of binder just from being sat there. So a little bit of lime with it, mix it back up, make it into mud, straight on. Now we've got this uh, gutter that runs down here, so that is all getting replaced. I'll show you down below as to why. This roof board in oak is also getting replaced. We're going to make a, a full one instead of having this joint down it. And we're going to put this mould on in the workshop. We've already put a new gutter in there earlier on this year with a new, bigger outlet in it. Uh, uh, we haven't finished this bit off yet. That was done, like I said, now a month ago. Taking a section of this fascia board off, just here. Uh, we've got to make a new section. So we've got that back in the workshop as well. This is where it all started from, this outlet that was leaking, all this fascia decay here. And then on this level, we have got a jetted section above the first floor and this is the corbel that's meant to hold the two tire beams from this property and the next property all the weight of these tire beams is on that corbel which is not there and it looks twice as bad from the inside it, it how this building is still standing Blows my mind, these timber frame buildings, they just last, they're resilient. But, yeah, inside, wow. So this is the other cobalt, and all these are carved as well, they're very decorative. They're all carved up. And this one is rotten down the sides. This is rotten. This beam's gone as well. So all this gutter lining this is the leg gutter on top all this is coming out making new molded section putting a new leg gutter in it all this is coming out I'm gonna reform all that not doing too much to the stained glass the windows we're gonna clean all this down and oil all the timber work just as general maintenance 
kind of mains live power there that's currently lads away now waiting to disconnect that's got to go down to ground and get disconnected we've had all these electric boards moved off we've got bt uh, fiber optics here as well which makes it hard work but again original what the door panels in here not very well secured just pull them out and then you got the laughs behind there so we'll put new laughs in it as well all these will get rebuilt we're going to um, redo all these as well fill all these joints so this details a bit bad we've got an open lead joint there no flashing on it so we're going to make a little oak fill it just to come over that down this side this lead roof not the best but it's serviceable uh, all these you see how much the frame has actually moved and opened up so we're going to pack all these joints up and replaster i think nearly every single one of these some of these are cement that's got concrete block behind it like an aerated concrete block so the, some of them have been done it's just a mishmash of all sorts um, cement pointing there in the gaps and then this is another serious issue we've got this big massive post coming down here onto a rotten beam and the actual bottom of the post is rotten out as well so we've got to take all this frontage off splice that post splice this beam as well so we've got two new cobbles and a lot of beams to splice on externally internally we'll go up in the attic space have a look in there now and you can get a feel of what we're dealing with as part of the initial works what we wanted to do was open up there's a big crack you see above this beam and we wanted to see what the structure was like underneath it so we've opened that wall up i think that's stopping i don't think we're doing any repairs to that the structure engineer has signed it off and said it's fine we've also opened this side up this is where we've got a rotten beam it's right up there Hang on. no it's right up there and there's a big post that comes down and we wanted to open this section up so that we could have a look and see what the details were around that it's going to get a torch on this because we don't get any light in here but you can see daylight coming all the way through that that's the original timber frame and we've just put this stud in we've just put this stud work in front of it to cover it we've got brick and fill panels there with original watland daub and this is the party wall between the two properties and uh tar beam up there i got any light up here yet but this is what we've got this wall plate is rotted there and has collapsed on the back side of this post but this post is rotten as well so this is the cobble on the outside of the building on the left hand side it was all rotted out looked like i had all the woodworm in it but this is the mortise and tenon joint down here and you can see the rotation this should be here and it tapers down so all this cobble has pushed out that way which has had drastic implications on the internal of the building but this post is rotten here this beam that we're on here that's what's left of it on the end that goes into the post just underneath the cobble so this is the other side you can see this wall plate here it's collapsed with the weight of the tar beam on it and all well, this is gone that is the other cobble that has got a massive split down it and all this is rotated out if you here you can see that this isn't v vertical anymore all that's shifted out this is the jetty section and what it's done is it, it, it's kinked at that point there with the two cobbles collapsing it's actually put a, a kink in the just above the jetty so lads just on with a minute we're just putting some brakes some brackets on these joists and we're going to secure them back to this beam back here and we're going to ply all this out so we can work from it and then we're going to put some big rmd props up i'm going to show you them in a minute it's going to come through this roof and pick up that tar beam we're putting one in here 
one in there the one on the inside one on the outside with a big r beam between it because we need to take basically the weight of all that tar beam all the truss and then the purlins i think we're going to drop some props acro props down underneath these purlins down to ground as well but we're two floors up now on the second floor so we've got quite a bit to go down this is uh backside of the building we did this back in uh, when we first started the project all these panels these infill panels were filled with um eml which is expended metal lath and a cement render on them so we took all them out and put this temporary boarding in but we're going to re repanel all these and put new lime render on it with uh, insulation uh packed in between the panel uh, but again we've got timber issues on this side where it's been i don't that's not a splice <laughs> if someone's bunged a piece of timber on the back side of it but yeah this truss is rotted out as well here so that's another thing we've got to deal with. Oh, and also the truss on the other side, um, one of the um, tires uh, that hold the truss up is collapsed as well. So we've got that to sort out. It is very, very fine, intricate work this to stabilize all the front of this building before we start doing any work on it to make sure that what we're doing, interventions to repair this, is not going to have a detrimental effect on the building's stability. That's why we're using the RMD props. So this is what we use for uh, big structural work. Acro props are all right when you're doing a uh, ton, two ton max, but these things are like daddy props. So what we're doing, these will go from ground all the way up to the top where the truss is. These are the jacks that go on top of them, and we have in here some steels, big R beams that we're going to run through to pick that truss up. They've been using this as a saw bench at the minute. So these lads are going to get all the propping in this week, hopefully, uh, get everything stabilised. We've got to put some scaffolding between all the props as well to, to band all the props together. That'll get done this week, maybe beginning of next week, and then we can start doing the drawing work but yeah super super kind of you've got to be really regimented on propping something like this that is in such a precarious state just getting the propping right is is a is, is a must so i'll be coming back down later on this week i think uh but anyway we'll do a video we'll catch you up it's three four month job so we'll get what we can in catch you a bit